Hi, how's it going? This is Riz and I'm calling for YouTube. I'm back with my second video. This video is a Dark Shadows character retrospective. Phyllis Wick. And you might be going, well, who in the blue blazes is Phyllis Wick? Well, Phyllis Wick was the original governess for one Sarah Collins. Hired by Judith Collins, sight unseen, uh, she sent for a governess and they, they sent Phyllis Wick. Now they know the girl's name, but they don't know what she looks like. So, this woman is going to go on to be accused of witchcraft and lynched on put on trial and she's going to be found guilty um is she guilty no no she's not a witch now you might say well wait a second didn't victoria winners ultimately take her place yes yes my friends this did happen but you gotta understand, these two women's journeys, though they do eventually intertwine, there are some different events that do take place. For example, Victoria Winters, when she's taken away for trial, Barnabas is in a Barnabas has not been bitten by the vampire bat. Phyllis Wick didn't get taken to jail till Barnabas's coffin was taken to the mausoleum. So Phyllis Wick knew Barnabas died. She knew. Now, that doesn't mean necessarily she knew she he was a vampire, that he became a vampire, but she did know that the original Barnabas died. And you want to look at the two biggest glaring differences in two different people's stories that do intertwine with one another? Man, that's that's as good as gold. I mean, you, you look at that and you go, wow. So Phyllis Wick, Phyllis Wick was there when Barnabas was sick. She was there when Barnabas actually did die. And then, as his coffin is being, you know, after his coffin gets put in a Muslim, then she's taken away? Now, we know they charge her with the Trask, obviously, is the one charging her with witchcraft. The big question you gotta ask now is... Does Phyllis Wick's story include her being charged with the murder of Barnabas? And I'm going to say no. And I think the one thing... Now, we don't hear this, and this is just theory here. I think Joshua Collins did testify at the trial of Phyllis Wick initially or maybe Abigail's testimony one or the other I would say Joshua would be the one probably more willing to go under earth and say this that his son didn't die he went to England and maybe they sent a cable in his name it wouldn't be hard to do it's just or sorry a letter in his name I should say but it would not be hard to do. Um, I think either Joshua may have testified at Phyllis Wick's trial. Or Abigail testified and said, no, Barnabas just went to England. He didn't die. Remember, Joshua did not want the shame of his son dying from plague. There was already so much stuff in town. That, I think, stayed the same. Uh, you know, fear of plague. So, that, I think, stayed the same. There was already, already so much stuff going on. That, I think, stayed the same. But, the whole, you know, Phyllis Wick trial, where, to me, I mean, that could have been one thing where 
they're taking this woman to be charged with witchcraft. Now, I gotta believe Abigail still meets her demise at the hands of Barnabas. So maybe they end up just charging her with murder. With the murder of Abigail. Maybe that sticks. It's hard to say. But I do think when you look at Phyllis Wick's situation, they couldn't have proven... They couldn't have had her say, well, you're not Phyllis Wick. That would have been too easy for her to prove correct. No, I am Phyllis Wick. She could have found someone who knew her. That's something, you know, they couldn't have got her on. But after Barnabas' death, the, pro the one person who was probably sticking up for her... I mean, if we... If we I gotta believe that the way Barnabas was sticking up for Victoria is probably the same way Barnabas may have been sticking up for Phyllis Wick. Like, this woman's not a witch. You're, these guys are crazy. Man, Abigail's crazy. That woman always believes. She sees the devil everywhere. That's Joshua's line, by the way, Lewis Edwards. She's always seen, oh my god, she sees the devil in her. <laughs> oh god. Beautiful. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, Jesus. In the bushes, in the trees. Could you imagine showing Abigail a car? <laughs> Reverend Trask. <laughs> That's the computer. Man made the computer. But the man who made the computer is a servant of Satan. <laughs> what am I recording on again? Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, God. Too classic. Oh, God. But, <laughs> feel this way. I think her story is very fascinating. This woman was meant to die was meant to be lynched i mean her story even though vicky swaps her never really changes i mean she knows barnabas died she knows because she's already lived those events the past it's always to me the past keeps going on the past is something you can't change because it's forever going on because it's something that has already happened and it's forever entrenched in time. And you might say, well, did Vicky, did Vicky going back in time interfere with Phyllis's life? I don't believe so. I don't, well, what I mean by that is I don't feel it changed what Phyllis knew. It may have changed certain events, Daniel's death, but who's to say who's to say Phyllis Wick didn't escape from prison and save Daniel? We don't know. Who's to say that Barnabas himself didn't save Daniel? We don't know. We don't we don't get that point of view from Phyllis or anyone else. So that's one thing you could sort of start to question of, okay, if Vicky never goes back, we know Phyllis is going to get hung. Who saves Daniel Collins? That is one hell of a question. <laughs> so, I, again, I just think the character of Phyllis Wick, when you think about, you know, the difference between her and Victoria 1795, it really is night and day. Because the things, you know, Trask was accusing Vicky of, oh, you're not Phyllis Wick. You, you know, he's right. You know, Trask is an asshole, but he's right. She's not Phyllis Wick. She's Victoria Winters. She says her name, too. I'm Victoria Winters. <laughs> you gotta love Vicky's honesty. I'm Victoria Winters. God damn it, I said my name's Victoria Winters. That's what I would have been all heard. Uh, screaming from the mountaintop, girl. Screaming. <laughs> or the gallows. Oh, God. But, um, you guys are awesome. Oh, thank you 
at Frid Barnabas. Thank you at Cousin Barnabas. Thank you at Return Shadows. Thank you, Letitia Fay, Lynn Edwards, at I under slash Barnabas. Thank you at Will McKinley. Thank you at Nancy Kersey. You're the real Patrick Gray. <laughs> Thank you at O oh, Mrs. Johnson. Thank you Qu uh, at Quentin Collins. Thank you at Angie the Witch. Thank you at Don Schmidt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, obviously, I'm not done doing Dark Shadows videos. I'm, I'm going to do as many as I can. But thank you, everybody who has been supporting my channel. Thank you at Kellenberg. Thank you um, at the Myers Fan 25. Just thank you guys so, so much for just supporting my channel. Huge, huge thank you to my wife who just supports the hell out of me. But just thank you, all you guys. Huge thank you. And shout out to At Weeping Victoria. Thank you, all of you all of you you guys are all very very special people and don't let anyone ever tell you any different anyway you guys are awesome guys and gals are awesome super super um so to put this to bed i think when i look at phyllis wick's journey of 1795 I don't think it was any less hell than Vicky's was, but I think the biggest difference, something that Liz told Vicky, the past isn't as romantic as you think it is. And Liz is right. Liz was right, 1000%. The past wasn't as romantic as Vicky thought it was. There's romance there, but there's some death, chaos, and some just crazy shit. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys will get tagged. Thank you, all of you. Thank you all so, so very much. You guys have a great night.